Well hello, it's Roger here again. Um, today I'm going to be unboxing this little beauty, the Maytag Satellite Vacuum Cleaner, also known in the USA as the Hoover Constellation. And this was a relaunch of the classic Hoover Constellation, came out a few years ago, um, initially came out for the UK market, branded under the Maytag name, and then it was introduced to the USA market under the Hoover brand. It couldn't be sold as Hoover at that time because the Maytag company who owned Hoover USA didn't own Hoover Europe. So the Hoover name and the Constellation name couldn't be used in the UK. So it had to be branded under Maytag and they called it Satellite instead of Constellation. Maytag brought out a few cleaners um, to the UK market. Um, this machine, an upright, which you'll see an unboxing video of um, on YouTube and soon to be a demonstration video. There's some other upright cleaners and a hard floor washer called Floor to Floor and the Agility carpet washer. But um, Maytag are no more as far as floor care in the UK. They still produce major appliances but not floor care products. So this basically is a reintroduction of the classic floating canister cleaner, the Constellation, and it's pretty accurate um, to the original design. Certainly the main cleaner is. Um, the tools aren't the same, but obviously it's been upgraded with HEPA filtration and a powerful, much more powerful motor. I believe this is 2000 watts. So I got this little beauty, brand new and boxed, and I'm going to unbox it for you right before your very eyes. Right, so here we have the box, taken off its pedestal, nice eye-catching design, so it would look good in a uh, retail store, but uh, I never actually saw any of these. I believe uh, the electrical retailer Comet did sell these, and um, I understand Harrods had them at some ridiculously uh, inflated price, well over £200 I believe. But these did get reduced because for some reason they weren't popular, they weren't promoted and um, they died a death. But with some misgivings it's a very good and unusual vacuum cleaner. So let's see what is inside the box. This nicely sealed box fresh from the factory in China. So first layer of packaging we get is the cleaning tools. So we'll just remove the tray, I believe it's a cardboard tray that has all the bits in. There we go. We'll just look at uh, the tools first off. First thing we find is the tool, the small tool set. Let's just get my scissors. So you've got the small cleaning tools here. Which consists of a crevice tool, an all-purpose nozzle with a removable slide-on brush. So you've got that for doing your curtains and your upholstery and your stairs and you've got a separate bristle brush that fits on for other jobs. You also get a dusting tool which seems to have real either bristle or horsehair brushes but they're nice and soft anyway they're not um, they're not harsh like some of the uh, synthetic brushes so that's good. You also get this little clip which is a, a caddy. This enables you to carry the tools either on the cleaner body itself or up near the handle I believe. And we'll see how that tool works when we get the machine assembled. Now inside here you've got your further accessories that come with this machine. First tool we're going to look at is the hard floor brush. Again, it's got, I believe, to be horsehair bristles. 
and two wheels, sort of rubbery, rubbery coated wheels either side, and that's doing all your hard floors, your laminate, your wooden floors, your parquet. So that's your dedicated hard floor tool. Next, we get the turbo head, branded Maytag. And this, if you're familiar with the turbo head that comes with Henry vacuum cleaners, or you can buy as an option for Henry, or it comes with the Henry Extra, it's more or less the same head. This head was also supplied with some Hoover cleaners in the UK. Um, I did have a machine, I can't remember which one it was, but Hoover certainly had used this design of head. So that's your rotary turbo head for your carpets. Then we have the hose, with an angled end that goes into the machine and it's stretchable, like the old fashioned Hoover double stretch hose or Hoover flex hose as we sometimes called it. So that stretches, it should reach up a standard flight of stairs. And on the other end you've got this hand grip. It's a pretty plain design. It's a little bit of a, a rubberized section underneath where you put your hand. And there's a little sort of hook here on the end. That enables you to hook it onto the vacuum cleaner when you're storing it. And I'll show you how that works later. This is the main gripe over this machine. I have another one of these models that I've used. So I do know how it uh, handles. I believe in the USA they offered a longer hose than this, but in the UK model the hose is pretty short and because it's stretchy it tends to retract a lot. So the vacuum cleaner tends to be knocking into your legs all the time. So if this hose was longer or they provided with a non-stretch hose as well as this, they could provide this for stair cleaning plus a non-stretch hose of a decent length for your regular cleaning, that would improve this cleaner 100%. This hose is the main problem, unfortunately, with this machine. I'm going to see if I can buy another hose. I've already looked, but I can't seem to find one in the UK. Or at least just this end, and then fit a different type of hose to the cleaner. So that's the hose anyway. You also get one, one spare dust bag. It comes with one bag fitted. I did manage to get quite a lot of these fairly cheaply a while back on eBay, so I have a good supply. But these average about $14.99 for two bags, which is very expensive, just for two bags, and they're not very easy to get hold of. But oh, on the internet, you can get them. And there uh, we have the instruction book, Maytag Satellite. How do you clean your space? Add wings to your cleaning with the new Maytag Cylinder Cleaner. The cleaner you have purchased is more than just a vacuum. You have purchased a new way to clean your space, simplify your life and complement your home decor. The Maytag Cylinder Cleaner's powerful motor, ingenious design and impeccable style complement all of your cleaning needs. Big boasts there for Maytag. Right, so that's the, the tools. Can you say there's something missing? Yes, there is something missing up out of the tools, but that's to come out next. And that is your stainless steel telescopic tube. Which has quite a weighty feel about it. You've got a little button here that you press to release the tube. It's quite a nice smooth action, I must say. There we are. So that's your extension wand and on the tube we have got a little bracket where you can attach, well it serves as two purposes this bracket, it, all, it acts as a parking bracket when you've, you've paused your cleaning and I believe you can also put the tool clip onto this somehow or other, I think that's what it's for, but I could be wrong. I can't remember, but anyway, we'll soon, we'll soon have that sorted. Right, so that's all the cleaning tools. Now let's get the cleaner out. So first, got a nice big piece of polystyrene, which 
which I'll put to one side here. And the only thing to do is lift out the machine. So here we have it. This is the Maytag satellite. Now it's in stainless steel, it's completely stainless steel, the whole body, just like the original Constellation which was metal. This is all steel. The only difference is the skirt around the base is plastic. On the original Constellation that was also metal as well. On the satellite and the Hoover, new Hoover Constellation, it's this plastic. It seems quite a tough plastic. And underneath that is where the air expels. There's no um, hole on the original Constellation. You could actually connect the hose to the bottom of the machine to use it as a blower. But on this machine you can't. And you've got a very retro looking switch here to turn it on and off. So there we have it. That's the Maytag satellite unboxed. I'll, um, show you a few more features of this cleaner close-up and then to follow in a few weeks will be a demo video I'm not actually going to demo this particular model because I want to keep this new and unused so after this video it's going to get packed away back in its box to keep it factory fresh but I do have one that has been used slightly that's stored elsewhere so I'll be uplo uploading a proper video of that in the next few weeks. So without any further ado, let's take a closer look at this Maytag satellite. Well here we have the new Maytag satellite unpacked with everything you get in the box excluding the spare bag which I've left downstairs. You get the machine itself of course with the stretch hose and the hose is actually positioned on the storage slot. This is what Maytag recommend you do. You store the flex wrapped around the bottom of the cleaner and like on the original Constellation the flex tended to be wound around the handle. This is how Maytag suggests you store the flex. You can still wind it around the handle if you wish to but it uh, doesn't make any difference. An automatic flex rewind would have, would have been a very nice addition in this cleaner but uh, wasn't obviously provided. But to store the cleaner and the hose, there's this little hole here on the handle and that corresponds with that hook and you just hook the handle into the machine like that and then you obviously have to store your tube and your larger tools separately. Um, the small tools actually do fit in this holder and will actually clip onto this extension tube. Let's look at the cleaner then, shall we, in a little bit more detail. So as you can see it's got the satellite branding on the top. In the USA that would be branded Constellation. You've got the hose connection which is just a, a twist fitting. It's quite stiff. Let's just let's see which way I don't want to force it. That's the way. Jiggle it about. So, yeah, it is quite stiff, but really, once you've got it on, there's not much reason to keep taking it off. And it just fits on with these two little lugs that stick out and they correspond with two slots. Also, I don't know why this would be useful, perhaps if you're cleaning higher up and needed a bit extra stretch, you can actually put... Right, I've done it the wrong way. Well, that's the normal way, but you can actually put it in the opposite way. Like that. And now, the hose is locked in this upright position. So yes, if you were doing something high up, if you were up a ladder and dusting some high book bookshelves or some pelmets or something, 
to give you a little bit extra stretch upwards, you can actually put, put the hose in that way. But for regular cleaning, it would go the other way. So let's just remove the hose so I can show you the rest of the machine. Because I'm keeping this new, I'm not going to remove the protective, there's a protective plastic covering over this satellite branding. Also on the Maytag logo here, again of course in the USA that would be the famous Hoover logo. And this Maytag branding here has also got a little bit of protection on so I'm going to leave that on for now. As I say it's an all metal steel construction. You've got a very wide bumper but you need that because the machine goes all over the place when it's on. It does float very well, far better than the original Constellation. There is a far more of a you know downward thrust on this machine. So you've got that. Like I say you've got the retro design on off switch. In the up position it's off. Flick it down, it's on. You can do that with your foot. It's large enough to be able to do that with your foot. Up and down. The flex, as I say, stored around the base and it's a nice, nice long flex you get with this machine. This is fitted with the UK plug with the protector over the prongs there for the for transportation. And it's got a very nice cord strain relief where the cord enters the cleaner so it should help prevent any damage to the cord. This is often somewhere where a cord can become damaged when it enters the vacuum cleaner because it does get constant stress, stress on it. So often when a vacuum, when I've had old vacuum cleaners that haven't worked, that have just been dead, after rewiring the plug end, if that hasn't helped, then I'd check this part and I would rewire into the machine, pull the flex in a bit and then cut off the bit that I'm assuming is damaged and rewire it and that often does fix the problem. But because of the strain relief, hopefully that will prevent that problem. Now I've got a nice metal catch here and that has got a little bit of tape on it so I'll just carefully remove that. Obviously that's been put on for the packaging and it's a very similar catch to the original Constellation, very very similar but as you can see it's all metal so that that should be quite robust we open the cleaner exactly the same way as you'd open the old Constellation the whole, the whole top tilts again that's metal you've got here a nice seal, a rubbery seal also there's a hole here now that hole goes right through to the outside of the machine. You can't see it because it's just, it's very difficult to pick up, but it's just under the handle. And if you can see that, yes, just about, can you see there's a hole there? Now that is a very basic suction relief valve. Now I've actually taped that up. You can just put a bit of tape on there and you will find that you have not, you'll have a bit more suction, it's not going to be hugely more, but it is obviously there for a reason, but it helps the machine to stay gliding, even if you um, block the hose a bit, because air is still getting in to the bag compartment through this hole, it still should float, so, you know, it's not recommended that you block that up, but you can experiment, um, and you might find you're getting a little bit more suction, but... I wouldn't have thought it'd be a huge difference. Here we have the HEPA bag again, branded specially Maytag, Maytag satellite. Original Hoover Constellation bags I don't think fit this, but if you have trouble buying these bags, which after a while especially you probably will do, um, there is probably a bag um, that would fit this. If anyone who's got a satellite in the UK knows of a different branded bag that fits this, it'd be interesting if you could pop it in the comments underneath. So anyway, here's the HEPA bag. Just slides in. We've got a nice sort of latex type seal on the bag collar to help keep the uh, 
everything sealed inside. And again, unlike the original Constellation, this part was also metal, but it's plastic here on the, on the late version. And again, there's a different type of filter. On the original Constellation, it was a, a big round felt filter and you had a, a spring, a big sort of uh, metal round springy type thing. Well, it wasn't really a spring, I can't really describe it, but um, it, it went the full circumference of the filter and it was often quite tricky to fit on correctly. This is far easier to do. Let's see how you get it off. I think you just pull it. That's it. Just pulls off. So that's the motor grill. Got motor pad here. Again, certainly in the UK, spares for this machine will be hard to come by. But that, you could easily get another filter type material for a different vacuum cleaner. As long as it's at least that size or bigger, you can cut it to fit if you need to replace the filter. And underneath the filter there, we have the motor. Exactly the same sort of positioning as, as you would have on the original Uber Constellation. So all in all, they have stayed fairly close to the original design with some improvements. Also again, this is plastic. On the original, that was metal as well. So let's slide the bag back in. Until it sort of clicks in. It doesn't really click, but you know when it's in, it's in firmly there. Also, when you close the the bag door, when you close the top on the machine, just make sure that you've not trapped the bag in between the seal here and the top of the motor unit. So just make sure that's tucked in, which is. We can close the unit and then pop the catch back on there. That's easy to do like that. So there we go. Let's just have a, a look underneath. Now underneath you've got a diffuser, there's a black diffuser or final filter on the machine. Already this has picked up picked up dust from my carpet. Oh, that's terrible, isn't it? Two. All the times this has been vacuumed. Now this rating plate is a little bit little bit uh, bubbled unfortunately. But anyway. It's model S3340001 and it's a 2000 watt Maytag International Inc. Made in China. There's a service address maytag.com, UK service at maytag.com, double insulated. But like I say, Maytag don't really have anything to do with this machine anymore. Obviously it was branded Maytag, but since they're split with Hoover USA Floor Care. They no longer provide vacuum cleaners under the Maytag brand. But they didn't sell, from what I understand, they didn't really sell in great numbers. This machine didn't and nor did any of the other Maytag because I think um, they were considered a bit too American. Some of the styles um, of the uprights especially seemed quite American in design, uh, a bit large for some UK homes. Right, so here's the cleaner. I'm not going to turn it on. Sorry about that. I know you're probably itching to see it floating about, but you can see it floating on other YouTube videos. But like I say, I will be uploading a full demo of the Maytag satellite in a few weeks when I get the one I have in storage, which has been used. Like I say, I like to keep this one factory fresh, as factory fresh as it can be. Let's just show you the close-up of the turbo head. It's got two large rear wheels and two smaller wheels at the front. And the brush is the design that enables the dirt to be swept to the center where the main suction is. It's supposed to sweep all the dirt into the center of the machine, or the head, not the machine. Obviously this is where the um, blades are located in here, the, the blades that power the machine, because this is a turbo head, for, you, for those who don't know, it operates on the suction of the vacuum. It doesn't have a separate motor. 
it works on suction so it has a disadvantage of when the suction reduces on the cleaner, if it does, it will also reduce the efficiency and speed of the, the turbo head. Just show you the parking system. For that I'll just pop the, well no I won't pop that in there actually. See so you've got the little parking hole here. And that's where you'd put the hose. Obviously you'd have the, normally you'd have the handle attached and that would be raised up, but you'd put the hose there to park it. And also, you've got your little tool holder here. That fits on to the bracket on the handle. There's probably a knack of putting these tools on. I don't know if there's a certain way, but let's clip, clip them on. Got your purpose nozzle. Your dusting brush. And your crevice. Go on, get on. There we are. So, you can have them on there. And they will stay on the handle if you want them to. When you're actually cleaning, you can, they'll stay fairly firm. They shouldn't fall off unless you're very vigorous. But if you don't like them on the handle, you can actually put them on the body of the machine. Like that. So you've got a little onboard tool caddy. So as the machine's floating about, you've got the tools to hand there. So I'll just show you the hose a bit. I'll obviously be doing a demonstration of it cleaning stairs. But it does stretch quite a nice length. So it should get right up your standard flight of stairs. But like I say, if you keep uh, tuned to my channel, if you subscribe, you'll see when I upload the full demo of this machine. And you'll get an idea of its noise level and its performance. And from what I remember of using the other model I have, it does a pretty good job. It floats very well, it's very good suction, not too noisy, but like I said in the unboxing, it's this, unfortunately, this hose that is the weak point. It's a good idea having a stretch hose to reach up the stairs, but for, for everyday carpet and floor cleaning, it is a, nu a nuisance. So if I can get a, um, a non-flexible hose that fits on here, I will try that because I'm hoping I've got a Miele hose. Now if I can get a Miele hose, if I can get a spare one of these hoses and actually being able to connect a Miele hose into this without it falling off, then I can use Miele attachments with this, then it will be pretty fantastic. So, I hope you enjoyed the video. That's the unboxing and a, a brief first look at the Maytag Satellite Floating Vacuum Cleaner.